and now I'm at a freaking convention where people are coming to meet me. It's crazy. Hey guys, welcome back to another interview here on Tone In Entertainment. Today we're at WrestleCon 2024, and I'm joined by Brittany Brooks. How you doing, Brittany? I'm amazing. I'm out here with Kayfabe Clothing today. We're selling merch. We're selling shirts. We got these awesome um, Philly 316 shirts, stickers, everything. We're also here with Smile It's Peak, the Finn Balor brand. It's awesome. Having so much fun, meeting so many people. It's been a blast. Now, I did see you post a picture on Instagram this morning. I did. And when we did our podcast about a year ago now, you were talking about prom and mm -hmm. you weren't going to be able to go. Yep. But last night you actually got to wear the dress. I did. And you wore it to WrestleMania. I did. Okay. What went through your mind just putting on that dress for the first time and taking it to the biggest show in all of wrestling? <laughs> it was awesome because every time I like work with WWE, I wear dresses and like I was like saving that dress for like a special moment. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to go to WrestleMania because of like I had like issues with my knee even though I have surgery like two years ago. So it was like up in the air of whether or not I was going to be able to go. But I ended up getting the MRI and everything sent back to them. So it was just amazing. And it was such a fun experience getting to dress up in the dress that like I love wrestling so much. It wasn't that big of a deal to me that I didn't get to go to my prom. Um, I did have like a crazy story with my graduation too, like to where I almost didn't make it because of AEW weekend. So like just so much has happened and like, but I wouldn't trade it for the world. Like I've been having so much fun out here. Like it's honestly like not, you know, that big of a deal for me to be at those things. Like I just want to wrestle. So it was really, really special being there in that in that dress. Now we are here in Philadelphia, so I feel it's only appropriate. I mean Rocky's probably the most famous movie to come mm -hmm. out of Rocky. So if we had to do a workout montage to any song for Britney Brooks, Ooh. what song are you putting that montage to? This is such a good question. Um maybe like Ooh, oh no. I feel like anything Drake. I'm a big, big Drake fan. I love his music. I love the beats. They're just awesome. Like, I honestly, if you follow my Instagram, I always have reels and I always put like Drake songs on them. I just love those beats. And I feel like all of my reels or even like workout videos, anything by Drake, literally any like upbeat, rappy song, I love it. Now we are here at your table. You've got awesome merchandise going on from T-shirts, 8 by 10s I'm a trading card nerd, mm -hmm. okay? I love trading cards. So I feel like it's only appropriate. I have to get a Britney Brooks yes. trading card while I'm here. And i that's the one that I want. Being on a trading card, I grew up as a kid when trading cards were huge. Now you're on trading cards. Wild. You're wild, right? Wild. Um, I used to go and collect them. I had literally a book where I would flip pages and I would buy all the WWE packs. And literally now I have my trading cards at my merch table every single weekend. Like, So if I wrestle at a show near you, come grab a trading card. I have like all different kinds. Like, These are the variants. So as the Dreamwave, first ever Dreamwave Women's Champion, you know, I have these very rare pink variants. There's only a few of them left in existence that people haven't bought yet. Definitely come check them out. But it's just so wild to me that I, like, get merchandise. Like, merch was such a big part of my childhood. I would save up all my money and go to these shows, like, and just buy all the merch I could. Like, um, I recently I went to the Mania Superstore because I was like, why not? I'm here. You have and to, right? You have crazy. to. And um, I just remember going to the Royal Rumble Superstore that they had in Arizona in 2019. And that was, like, the last thing I did, like, as a fan before I was, like, starting to wrestle. And and it's just like brought back all these memories of like going and meeting these wrestlers. And now I'm at a freaking convention where people are coming to meet me. It's crazy. Like life is so crazy. Now speaking of coming to meet you, you do have people wandering around here that do want to meet you. So we're going to be very respectful of your time. <laughs> Brittany, where can people follow you at? You can follow me at the Brittany Brooks on Instagram. I'm starting to bring back my vlogs. So you can follow my YouTube, Brittany Brooks. And then I have TikTok, the Brittany Brooks, Twitter, Brittany Brooks, everything, Brittany Brooks. What cool stuff is going to go on on the those vlogs, Brittany. Oh my goodness. So I was vlogging. The last vlog I did was like prep for WrestleMania. I'm doing a vlog right now where I'm like at WrestleMania, WrestleCon, all the stuff. It's all going down. Just like life as traveling, life as an independent wrestler, all these crazy situations that I end up in. It's wild. Life well, is wild. Life is wild. Well, Brittany, <laughs> thank you so much for your time. Thanks it was for a having pleasure me. catching up with you in person, other than the power of the internet. Yeah. Right? So, guys, if you like interviews like this with Brittany Brooks here at WrestleCon 2024, guys, make sure you hit that red subscribe button so you can stay tuned in here to Tone in Entertainment for future videos. Yes, let's go. Subscribe to the channel. Do it. Go now. Do it now.